Hi everyone, Rob here, and I'm just going to go over how to get started with your courses for MRU for XCDA 10001, and the same applies as well for XCDA 10002. The first thing that uh, you should do is make sure that you go through the course outline, and I'll show you in a moment where you can find that. The course outline is going to give you an overview of what you can expect the topics in the course to be about. And you'll notice on the second page that you have an overview of the assignments as well. We have three major assignments in these two courses. Assignments one and two are due every two weeks and they're worth 40% each. And assignment three is your weekly discussion activities and they're worth 20% of the course. Scrolling down, you'll see a uh, course schedule for each of the courses. The course runs over four weeks, so each week will comprise one module in the course, and each week you are going to have some discussion activities to complete, and as I mentioned, every second week you're going to have a major assignment due worth 40 marks. Now, to find all of these resources and to get yourself actually going with these activities, first you'll log into Blackboard, and there you will notice under the My Courses section, XCDA 1001 or 10002. In this case, we're going to look at 10001. The layout is pretty much the same for both courses. Once you get inside, you're going to land on the announcements page, which looks something like this. I recommend logging in every day or every other day and checking to see if there are any new announcements uh, to help keep yourself on track. Now, after that, the next area to check is the content area. You'll notice that on the left side of your screen, there is a block here with some menu items and content is right in the middle. You click on that and you will see a description of the course expectations, a copy of the course outline that I just went through. It's in PDF format, so you can download it. And two folders at the bottom, learning modules and assignments. Learning modules is where you want to start. So under each of the learning modules here, you'll notice that there's a PDF that you can download uh, with a copy of each of the learning modules, as well as uh, glossary and uh, some other useful info. However, there are interactive versions of these. And if you click on learning modules here, it's going to open up the interactive version. So you have modules one, two, three, and four, and the glossary again. So for week one, click on module one. It's going to bring you into the readings. You just need to work your way through all of these readings. You'll see interactive uh, menu items here on the side to work your way through. So it gives you the learning objectives, your first readings, and you just keep working your way through. And you'll notice that partway through there is Module 1, Activity 1. This is your first discussion activity. So it's going to describe here what you're expected to do and what you're expected to post. And to post these discussion activities, you simply come back into the main Blackboard site click on the discussion board and you will see a number of forums set up for you. Questions and help forum is very useful if you have a question for me post it here not in the weekly discussions that way it'll flag my attention. This is the forum that I check right away. When you get started with the course there's an introductions forum say hello to your classmates and to me and we'll all say hello to each other and get to know each other. If you want to have general conversations about anything not specifically related to the course topics themselves or share some useful links, there is a coffee shop link. So your first discussion activity for, uh, for Module 1 is here, Module 1, Activity 1. So you just follow these instructions, create your post, come back here and post it under Module 1, Activity 1. And you'll notice that there's also Module 1, Activity 2. In this unit, there are two activities, so you'd follow these instructions and then post it here under Module 1, Activity 2. 
Most weeks there are two activities, some weeks there are not, so be sure to read through all of the modules and uh, figure out how many discussion activities you need to post and try to get them posted during the actual week that we're covering that topic so that you don't get too far behind and these activities are going to actually help you to be able to complete the major assignments that are due every second week. Now for your assignments, if we come back to the content area, you will see this link for assignments. There are some useful student resources here, descriptions on how to submit your assignments into Blackboard, and links to each of the assignments. So there's a downloadable PDF with the assignment instructions for each of the major assignments, and an overview of the discussion assignment as well. You can download these instructions, but if you click on this link here for Assignment 1, for instance, it's going to bring you into a Dropbox, and this is where you actually submit your assignment. So please be sure that you actually follow the naming conventions for submitting each assignment. The most important thing is to make sure that you don't have any spaces in the file name. It makes it difficult for your instructor to bulk download all of the assignments and grade them. Once you submit your assignment by the due date, your instructor will look over your assignment, will complete an assessment rubric, and will post that grade back to you, and you'll get a notification in Blackboard saying that uh, a mark is available, you'll be able to download your rubric and find out how you're doing. Again, if you have any questions about how to proceed through the course, the best way to get a hold of me is to post it in the questions and help forum. I strongly urge you to post your questions there uh, because if they're of a general nature, others in the class may have a similar question and that way they can benefit from your question and from my response. Of course, if your question is of a personal or sensitive nature and you don't want to share it on the discussion forum, then by all means send me an email. And you'll notice your instructor's email address is available in the course outline document. Again, you can download this course outline from the content area.